Now that we've implemented the island mode, I wanted to look at some erosion. I haven't revisited the erosion for a while. But now the water runs off the edges because of the island mode, we can have a look. So I'm applying some features here. Just to build a test scene. And this is all made out of compacted earth, which is a very nice material to erode. It doesn't collapse on its own, but it will erode easily. It's not a rock type, it's just compacted earth. And I switch on the rain there. And because this is in island mode now, any water at the edges just runs off. And there you can see it quickly eroding. And compacted earth erodes into a different type called just earth. So in the earth sim, the first three types are earth, sand and gravel. And all of those are sediment types. They don't support themselves, they just fall. So for instance, here I'm just adding some sand, which is a sediment type, and it's gradually falling on its own accord. But if you put water on it, it moves much quicker. It flows with the water and it collapses everywhere where it's wet. It won't support itself anymore. But I'm very happy with how this is looking. The erosion seems to be working pretty well here. The sand is mixing well with it. You see that the uh, compacted earth erodes into earth. Now, this is a slightly more challenging scene. These are made with more rock types. And at the back, there's compacted earth, and there's a little pile of sand there. Now, I've got thermal erosion switched to maximum, and I've got water erosion switched to maximum. So this is eroding the rock about as fast as it can. Rock thermally erodes into the gravel type and rock water erodes into sand. So both sand is being created. You see yellow areas over the rock there and gravel. And the gravel's the dark color that you see pouring. So there's both sand and gravel pouring off that edge as it's eroding. switched off the rain to have a look around once the water pours off. So I'm very happy with the effects we're getting around the sand here. You see the progressive settling from the moisture in the sand so that any wet sand does not support itself at all and it just spreads out. erosion affects the earth that's come off the hill there of compacted earth. The water has pushed it all down and the sand has also been flowing down. Let's erode it for a little bit more and have a look. by turning off the rain now and just leaving the thermal erosion. Again, the thermal erosion just turns rock, anything that's a rock type, into gravel. So it's simulating bits of rock chipping off. So you see now much more gravel in the gravel pile at the bottom of that cliff. 
There's relatively little sand coming off that. Only any sand that's being freed up from bits of gravel chipping off, and if there's gravel on top, sand on top of that, that will also fall. But now I turn the rain back on, and the sand's going to be mixing because the water is both pushing the sand and it pushes the gravel. So we get a mixing of gravel and sand. Some very nice trails of the sand and the earth there. So I'm really happy with this. That's working pretty well. Now this scene's the most challenging scene for the system, which has got hard rock with quite smooth hills. And it's showing up one of the problems that I've still got remaining. Because the way the erosion's working, it's all done using the multi-core system. The land is divided into square tiles can see an artifact from the edges of those tiles where I haven't completely correctly handled the handover of sediments as they move from one tile to the other, moving from one processor to another. But you can nicely see how the different sediments are dropped at different times. When water is carrying sediments, it drops the gravel first, then the sand, and then the earth. But there's no earth in this scene, or mainly got gravel and sand, because it's hard rock which erodes into gravel from thermal erosion and sand from water erosion. But I'm just looking at how bad these artifacts are. I'll run a lot more erosion and make it worse so I can see it. Now you can really nicely see the sand there, moving with the water as it pours down the hill. The gravel's also going with it, you can't see that so well. But nice trails. But those edges really need to be fixed at some point. <laughs> 